Hey, welcome friends. Today I thought we would make a root beer float. I've had quite a few people ask me to make one of these. Um, so I thought it would be fun to make a fake root beer float today. So the first thing I'm going to start out with is my lightweight spackling. Okay, so I've got my spackling in a bowl. I'm going to make this look like vanilla ice cream. So I'm going to add my antique white paint just a little bit. You don't want too much. A few drops and then just mix that in really well. And then I want to thicken this up. If you watched my mint chocolate chip ice cream video, we're going to do the same thing we did in that. So I'm going to use joint compound powder to thicken this up. You can also use flour or cornstarch or baby powder. So I'm just going to add some and stir it and see. I probably will need to add more. See how this is starting to get a lot stiffer. That's what we want. So basically I want it so that I can pick Piece of, I can pick it up with my hands and touch it and it's not going to completely stick to my hands. It's still a little sticky if I squish it, but just to pick it up and put it on my hand, it doesn't stick. So I'm going to use a mug that I got from Dollar Tree. Now you can do this the way I'm going to show you or you could take your scoops out and let them dry individually and then put them into your cup. I'm going to do it while it's wet so that it sits up against the side of the glass and looks more realistic. So what I'm going to do is just kind of press this down so that I get that edge that goes around for a perfect ice cream scoop. And then I'm just going to release this into my mug and then I'm, I'm going to do another one. So I think two scoops is going to be good for mine because I want to have enough room to have some foamy stuff at the top. So I got a little bit of excess on the sides here so I'm going to go in and just get that off because I don't want that to be showing later and you can actually just wait until it um, dries if you want to because it'll scratch right off of the glass so now i'm going to let this dry for a few days because i want this to be fully dried before i do any of the next steps so that nothing gets trapped and can get moldy or anything like that you want to be sure that this spackle is completely dry Okay, so my spackling ice cream has dried completely. So I need to mix up my root beer. So for that, I'm gonna use this deep pour resin. Now, I've shown how to make some drinks before and I was not clear about the type of resin to use. I, I think um, this is what you wanna use if you're using a glass container and you're pouring a large amount of resin in. Otherwise, your glass is gonna crack. So this is different from regular resin because you use two parts of the part A and one part of the part B. So the mixing ratio is different. So to measure this out, I have these two little cups. My set didn't come with any measuring cups. And so I just have these little like bathroom size cups and I'm going to use those to measure out. So like I said, the ratio is two to one. So I'm going to use one cup and I don't know how much resin I need for this particular glass. So I'm just going to kind of wing it. Hopefully I don't waste too much, but I think I'm going to do three parts of the part A three cups of the part A and then one and a half 
of the part B. So now I'm going to mix this up until it's all thoroughly mixed and doesn't look cloudy or anything like that. You can't see any streaky spots in it. Your kit will tell you how long to stir it for. You also want to be careful not to stir too fast. You don't want a bunch of bubbles in there that are going to make it look cloudy. Okay, so now for the coloring. I looked at quite a few different root beer floats online and the coloring can vary so much. What I want to do with mine is make it just look like root beer and then because of the clearness of it, you should be able to see the ice cream through. And when I, uh, as my ice cream was drying, I kind of pressed it up against the front of the glass so that when I pour the root beer around it, you're going to be able to see this ice cream up against the glass. But another option is you can make it look like when you pour the root beer over it and the ice cream starts to melt into the, the root beer, you get kind of like a creamy colored root beer. So if you wanted to do that, you can do that as well. You can just add some white alcohol ink or some a tiny bit of white paint and um, get that kind of more um, creamy looking root beer. So I'm going to start out with some brown alcohol ink. And then I'm going to add some orange alcohol ink to it as well. Just a few drops of the orange and then we'll check it and see how it looks. I'm going to add a little bit more orange and then I'm going to add a couple drops of yellow as well. I think we've got a pretty good color here. So now I'm just going to take my glass and I'm going to pour this in. So now I left a little bit of space at the top because I'm going to put some foam on the top. I'm going to let this cure until it's completely hardened. So because I didn't have my camera set up from the side, I wanted to show you what this looks like from the side after I poured the root beer in. And then here's the back side. So I put more ice cream toward the front. So my resin is completely cured. Now you can see there are some bubbles at the top. In this project, it's not gonna matter. There are also some bubbles from the side. I feel like because this is root beer, this makes it look more realistic. So this is what mine looks like so far. What I'm gonna use for my foamy top part is this insulating foam. Uh, there are other brands that you could use. And it comes in usually two different colors. So there's like a natural color and a white color. The one I have here, I believe is the natural color. And I think that's gonna look a little more realistic for this project. So you're supposed to shake the can for one minute. And then when you dispense it, you're supposed to hold the can upside down. If you hold it right side up, all of the air comes out and then you won't be able to finish using the rest of the can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray this onto the top and then I'm gonna let it, it expands, so I'm gonna let it expand. So this will grow quite a bit and then I'll probably need to trim it down some to make it look more realistic. If you guys have seen my mini beer video, I showed how to do this as well as using spackling as the foam. I don't love the spackling as much, but some people really liked that one better. So 
it'll just be whatever you like the best. So I'm gonna let this cure until it's completely dry and then I'll come back and I'll show you how I trim it up. Okay, so I've got my big foam topper here. Obviously I don't need this much. Um, it expands quite a bit, but it's all dry. So I'm gonna trim some of this off. So I'm gonna take the bulk off with an old kitchen knife. I do not use this in the kitchen anymore. This is just for crafts, but um, I'm just going to take some of this bulk off with this. So now I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm just going to shape this up to how I want it to look. So I want to kind of round out these sharp edges and just get it looking like the top foam on a root beer float. Okay, so I think I've got this shaped pretty well how I want it. Now what I'm going to do, because there are still some areas that kind of have a little bit pointy edges and stuff like that from my knife. So I'm going to take a nail file and I'm just going to go over and just kind of smooth out anything that's sticking up that I don't want and just shape it up a little better. and just brush off all the loose stuff. Thank you guys so much. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you in the next video.